Hi, my name is Melissa and today I will demonstrate how I go about um, mixing and administering a medication um, to a patient intramuscularly. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go into, into the room, I will close the door behind me and I would compare the information that I have on the doctor's order with my mark. Um, on the doctor's orders, we have the patient's name, which is Mr. PNL. On the ma, we have on the doctor's order, we have the same. We have his age, date of birth. Um, we have whether he has any allergies. We also have the name of the medication, which is glucoxylin, five hundred milligrams. Um, the route is intramuscular and it's every twelve hours. They both are the same. The second thing I'm going to do is I am going to check the medication with the ma and the doctor's order. I'm going to check the name, the name of the patient, the name of the medication, the dosage, the route. Um, with that medication as well, I will check for the expiry date. It's 2025, so it is good to administer. The medication needs a diluent to be admin and to mix together. I am going to check the expiry date on that diluent as well. I'm going to double check everything, the medication with the mark. The second thing I am going to do is um, clean the top of the bottles using using the alcohol alcohol um, swabs but before this I will do hand hygiene I will break the top of the bottles And I will wipe the top of my medication bottle and the diluent that I'm going to use. For this um, medication, I would have to withdraw 2.7 ml of the diluent with a syringe and put it in the medication, which is the glucoxylin. Um, to reconstitute so that we could administer our patient. The second thing I'm going to do is I am going to get a 3 ml syringe and I'm going to use an 18 gauge needle I am going to I'm going to aspirate 2.7 ml of air. And I'm going to insert it in our diluent. And I will withdraw. Two point seven ml, making sure that we don't have air bubbles in our medication. Then I'm going to insert it in the medication. I'm going to use my hand and roll the bottle to ensure that the medication is dissolved properly with the diluent. I'm going to put it down. Then I'm going to use a 5 ml 
syringe and I'm going to use another 18, 18 gauge needle I'm going to aspirate 2 ml of air the same way at least 2 ml And I'm going to withdraw 2 ml of my medication. Then I'm going to take out the 18 gauge needle. Put this in my shaft's container and i'm going to insert a 23 gauge needle this needle is the needle i'm going to use to administer the medication to my patient i'm going to then put a label on my medication and I'm going to again check my mar with my doctor's order ensure that everything is the same the patient's name Mr. PNL the drug which is glucoxylin the dosage 500 mg and I'm administering 2 ml to the patient and it's every 12 hours and the date that I prepared the medication the time the flow rate and the signature my initials I'm gonna place my medication down and I am going to prepare myself to go into the room to see the patient um, before I do that I am going to out of close the door so I'm gonna pull the drips I am going to do hand hygiene and I'm going to wear non-sterile gloves with the drip spool I'm going to go into the room I'm at the patient's bed I am going to introduce myself and make sure that I'm seeing the right patient. My name is Melissa. I'll be your nurse for today. Um, could I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Tyson Bernard, December 12, 2007. I will check the patient's wristband with the medication administration order and the doctor's order. Make sure that it's the same name and date of birth. Mr. PNL, date of birth, 1144. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is to ask the patient if he has any allergies. Do you have any allergies? No. Okay, then before um, I administer the medication, I have to clean the site of the medication and make the patient comfortable. But I just want to explain to you where the medication will be given. It will be given in the vas vascus lateralis. It is between the knee and the thigh area, separated in three. It would be somewhere in the middle, right here of the patient's leg so i'm going to go ahead and put the bed at a level where i could work i wouldn't hurt myself and uncover the patient and put them um, slightly on a side i'm going to clean the area that i need so i'm going to uncover the patient and clean the area that i need on the leg then i'm ready to administer my medication I'm going to get my medication. I'm going to take out the clip on this. I'm going to pull the skin back a bit. And I'm going to insert my medication slowly. 
after the medication is administered fully, I will remove, I will leave for at least um, 5 to 10 seconds. Then I remove slowly and apply pressure for about another 5 to 10 seconds. Using a cotton ball. I'm going to make sure that it stops bleeding. I'm going to ensure that there is no, there is no um, redness or bleeding at the site. I am going to cover my patient, make my patient comfortable. Are you okay? Yes. Are you in pain? No. I will put my bed at the lowest um, position. I will put up my head rails and make my patient comfortable. I will get rid of my my needles in my shop container um, and the rest of the garbage are put in normal garbage i am going to remove my gloves i am going to place the call bell as close as possible to my patient and let him know that i will be back to see him in a couple of minutes and to also ensure that he calls me if he needs anything i am going to do hand hygiene after I'm going to go and um, document what I did for the patient, the, the medication given, um, and what reaction did I observe. Um, I'm also going to come back and see the patient, as I said. But the call bell is there. The patient knows if he needs that he could call and I will come back and see him. Thank you.